Hi Otter Class and welcome back to another guided reading lesson. Today we're going to be reading an extract from Charlotte's Web. Now you need to read up to where it says, then you'll see what trouble a pig can be. And this is halfway through um, page four. Okay, so if you haven't read that part of the text already, please pause me whilst you do this and then press play when you're ready to move on to the questions. Okay then, so you've read the extract now. And we're going to move on to some vocab to begin the lesson with. There wasn't too much in this extract that I thought you wouldn't understand, um, but here are just a couple. So one verb that you may not know is sopping, which means very wet. So sometimes your clothes can be like sopping, which if you've been stood out in the rain or rolling around in puddles, for example. As well as this, you've got a runt. Now, a runt of the litter is the smallest um, animal in that litter. So in this case we've got the pig, so if you can have a look in that picture, it's much smaller than their siblings and generally that means they're weaker and potentially might die as well because they're too small. A litter, I think you might not know what a litter is because lots of animals have litters. Um, it's basically the siblings that are born when their mum is pregnant. Okay, so they're all born in one go in a litter. So cats have litters, dogs have litters, as do pigs. And then the last one is a hog house, and it is more or less what it says on the tin. Here is a picture, okay, and it's where the hogs or the pigs live. So hopefully they were the only words that you weren't quite sure of. Moving on then, we're going to do our quick start questions. So they're not too challenging today. There's four of them, so I'd like you to pause me, please, whilst you answer these, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay then, so question one, what was Papa carrying? Well, he was carrying an axe, okay? And it doesn't say that straight away. It doesn't say Papa was carrying an axe, but in the first bit of speech, it, Fern asks where he's going with the axe, which implies that he's carrying it. Question two, how old is Fern? Fern is eight. It says, I don't see why he needs an axe, continued Fern, who was only eight. Question three, why does Fern cry? Now you might have written something different to me, but something along the lines of she didn't want her dad to kill the pig or she was sad that um, the runt was gonna get killed. Okay, something along those lines. And then question four, what does Papa say will happen to the runt? Now you have to be careful on this one because when I answered it first, I accidentally wrote what Mrs. Arable said, whereas actually we're talking about dad. So it is not um, that the pig would probably die anyway, because that's what mum says. Papa says um, about the runt. Let's find the bit. It says right near the bottom of the page. It says, Fern, said Mr. Arable, I know more about raising a litter of pigs than you do. A weakling makes trouble. Now run along. So your answer would be something along the lines of the runt will cause trouble. Moving on then. We've got some partner talk. I'd like you to have a go at writing answers to this. So we've got those quotation marks again, which means this part of the um, this sentence has come straight from the text. Okay, it says, "Where's Papa going with that axe?" Do you think this is a good opening line for a story? Why and how does it affect the reader? Now, this is your opinion, as long as you justify it. So explain why you think that, and you will get the mark. So the sentence stem you might want to use is. I think it is a good opening line for a story, or I think it isn't a good opening line for a story because, because it affects the reader, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so have a go. So using that sentence stem, I think it is or isn't a good opening line for a story because. Pause me whilst you have a go at that and then press play when you're ready to move on. So the answer to this question is quite broad okay so basically you could have something completely different to me completely different to any member of the class as long as you've explained it sufficiently I personally think it is a good line for the opening of the story it's not a happy line by any means but already it hooks the reader in I want to find out more why has he got the axe where is he going with it who's asking that question are they worried are they excited it makes the reader want to find out more which is why it's such a good start to the story you might have had something different, in which case I'm going to leave it up to yours and your um, adult's judgment as to whether you would get the mark. But hopefully you thought it was a good opening line. Next question, once I can, where's my mouse? Keep losing it, there we go. Next question. 
It says, where is Papa going with the axe and what is he going to do? Pause me whilst you answer this question and press play when you're ready to move on. Right then, there is only one answer for this question and he's going to the hog house, it tells us that in the text, and he's going to kill the, the runt of the litter. If you want to say he kills the pig or a pig, I would give you the mark for that as well. But he's going to the hog house to kill the runt of the litter. Next question. So this time we've actually snipped part of the text for us. So it says, please don't kill it, she sobbed. It's unfair. Do you think you could find this part in the text? When you found it, you can maybe underline it with a ruler. You could highlight that section or draw a circle around it. So you know exactly where we're talking about. And you can work out what's happened before this and how they've got there. So pause me whilst you find this part of the text and circle it or highlight it. OK, so you should have all found this. OK, and you know what we're talking about now. It says, how do the two characters' emotions differ here? And why do they feel the way they feel? So there's going to be two parts to this answer. First of all, you need to work out which, two which the two characters are. OK, or who the two characters are, that's better English. OK, so hopefully you've spotted it's Mr Arable and Fern. Who is Mr Arable to Fern? What's he got to do with her? It's her dad. OK, we're just, um, he's just called Mr Arable as well. So we're talking about Fern and dad. So you need to decide how does Fern feel and how does Mr Arable feel and why do they feel that way? Your sentence then might be, Fern feels blank because blank. Mr Arable feels blank because blank. Have a go at that question. Pause me here and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. OK, then, so you should have answered that question now. And then again, you might have something slightly different to me, but I imagine it's something along the same line. So Fern feels upset, distraught, um, sad, one of those words, OK? And it's because um, her dad is going to kill the pig and she doesn't want that to happen. She thinks that's unfair. So that's how Fern feels. And then Mr Arable is different here. He differs because he's very calm and he's in control. It says he um, he stopped walking, he spoke gently, he's not angry, okay, he's not annoyed because of the way that he's speaking, he's very calm, and maybe he's determined, resolute in his decision, okay, um, and it says why do they feel that way? I'd imagine it's something because dad thinks that's the only way, okay, he knows it's going to happen, he has to do it, he doesn't have a choice, so he's just accepted that fact. You might have had something different or explained it in a different way. And again, I'm going to leave that up to your adult's um, judgment to mark it correctly, OK? A, a, an answer that will not be accepted, for example, would be Fern is sad because she is sad. OK, you need to explain why. All right. Or you could have just got something completely um, inaccurate. And you, if you said Fern was happy, I'm afraid that would definitely be wrong. All right. Moving on. OK, so it says, why do you think Papa decided to let Fern keep the runt? And what do you think will happen? So again, it's a two part question. Your sentence then for this might be, I think that Papa decided to let Fern keep the runt because I think that blah, blah, blah will happen next. The first part, you need to use the text to help you. And the second one could be a sensible guess. You might know the story, so you know what's going to happen. But try and base it on the fact, what does dad say when um, he says that she can keep the runt? Pause me whilst you have a go at this one. So then, why do you think Papa decided to let Fern keep the runt? You might have had something different, um, but it would probably be something along the lines of, so Fern would learn a lesson. I have a feeling he'd want her to understand why they kill the runt. Okay, and something like that. He um, because it says um, that the runt only caught a weakling makes trouble. He's expecting it not to be well behaved and maybe wants Fern to see why um, or to understand why they have to kill them instead of keep them. And what do you think will happen next? Now, lots of you could have something different, but it does say in the text that a weakling is nothing but trouble. So it implies that not everything is going to be hunky dory and happy. 
something bad is going to happen. You might be specific and you might want to say exactly what um, situation happens. OK, so maybe the pig escapes or he I don't know, gets into the house and eats mum's favourite cake. I don't know. All right. But something along the lines of um, the pig causing trouble. And you might go that step further and go past and say maybe the pig causes trouble and then dad has to get rid of the pig or um, Fern gets to keep the pig because he's really well behaved. OK. Last question then. Solo work. Again, we've got that snip of, of the text. Now you have to excuse me here because it kind of goes over two pages. Um, and the question today is, do you agree with this statement? And write a few sentences to explain your answer. This is going to start off with a yes, no part of the question. So yes, you do agree with it. No, you don't. And then you're going to explain why. So you're going to write because. I'm just going to read the statement out. It says, but it's unfair, cried Fern. The pig couldn't help being born small, could it? If I had been very small at birth, would you have killed me? Mr. Arable smiled. Certainly not, he said, looking down at his daughter with love. But this is different. A little girl is one thing. A little runty pig is another. So do you agree with this? So this is, do you agree with um, Mr... Well, do you agree with um, them killing the pig, basically? Okay, and his statement. I'm not going to go through the answers for this one because you might all disagree and you might all have really good explanations of why you disagree. OK, so I won't go through all of the possible answers um, because it is your opinion. That's it for me today. I'll see you in a couple of days for our next guided reading lesson.